Hi, I'm Shane from Ammon Arsenal. Today we're going to deploy uh, OpenOffice using PDQ Deploy. Now, if you have a subscription to the package library in PDQ Deploy, you can just import the latest OpenOffice, and we've already built that package for you. You just have to deploy it to your target computers. But we're going to show you actually how to build the package if you would like. If you don't have a subscription, um, or if you just kind of want to see you know, how the sausage is made. All right, uh, we've downloaded this from Apache's site, so go out to OpenOffice. It's Apache OpenOffice. Go out to their site, download the latest EXE. We're using the US version. Just obviously download the version for your locale. And you want to double click on this because uh, we're going to actually, this is going to unpack the setup files, and that's what we want. So go ahead and say unpack. Uh, it's going to throw this on the desktop initially. You can see there it is right there. I'm going to hit cancel. Say OK and finish because we're not going to actually install it. But now you can see we have um, these setup files. Now, uh, the setup exe is you're supposed to be able to use it. We've uh, generally seen that uh, we want to use the MSI. While you can use the setup exe, there's some customizations that we want to do that you probably want to do as well. So we're going to actually use the MSI. Um, now, at this point, you can literally just right-click and say, Deploy a PDQ Deploy. That will open up a new package in PDQ Deploy, and you can start, um, you can start from there. Now, I, I'm just going to switch gears really quick and show you the package that we have from the package library. This is where you'll pick off. Now, we do have a command step initially to kill OpenOffice. Um, to do that, you can see that, that command there, task kill. It's available on all of your Windows targets. Uh, and we kill the sOffice.exe and the uh, sOffice.bin. Kind of important because if you try to install while these files are open, you could run into some problems. Um, but not strictly necessary if they're not running it. And then here's our main meat and potatoes. This is where you'll have the OpenOffice 411 MSI. And uh, notice we are going to click the include entire directory because it's more, this MSI itself is only two megabytes. This entire installation is almost 200 megabytes. So include all uh, the entire directory. We want all those files in there. Now, since we're using the MSI, very important, you want to have the setup underscore used equals one. This is a way to kind of fool uh, uh, OpenOffice to say you, uh, you are installing this from the setup exe. If you don't do this, it will fail. So setup underscore used equals one. Uh, we are saying reboot yes, no equals no. These are all what you're seeing here in the parameters are all MSI properties that are specific to OpenOffice. Uh, if you don't want a desktop shortcut, then it's create desktop link, one word, equals zero. Um, and the add local, that means uh, what do you want to install of OpenOffice? We're saying all, install everything. However, I'm going to just move over here to the end. Notice we, there's also a remove property. And we have two things that we're not going to install. Uh, the remove, you can see it's kind of an interesting naming standard. Uh, GM underscore O underscore quick start, where to not install the quick start. And the comma, the next feature that we don't want, is the GM underscore O underscore online update. So we don't want to install the auto update feature for OpenOffice and uh, the quick start. And that's really the, the parameters that you want. Um, little note, please don't uh, install this or deploy this to computers that are currently running LibreOffice. LibreOffice and OpenOffice are built off of the same open source office uh, files and they'll conflict with each other. I'm going to deploy this. We'll just deploy this quickly to Costanza. Why? Because I just chose George here. Uh, so there's the computer Costanza. We'll say deploy now. Take a drink of water. You can see it's running that first step of killing the open office. Um, the running open office, any running open office uh, processes. And now we're actually going to install open office. This could take a little while. So we will come back from this show you the uh, status. All right, you can tell in this case, uh, Costanza was actually upgrading from a previous version, so it didn't take that long. Uh, it only took 38 elapsed seconds. But now OpenOffice, the latest version, which is 4.11, has been uh, installed. So that's how you do it. Go back to the video, look at those 
parameters, it's very, very easy. All right, I'm Shane. We'll talk to you later.